Hey friend, Chris Van Viver here from whylogicprorules.com. And today I'm gonna to show you how to take your completed logic projects and get them out of logic so you can share them with the world, or at least a friend. Now we're going to assume that this project is a completed song or it's enough of a completed project that I wanna show somebody else. Now we're also going to assume that I've adjusted the faders and the panning and the plugins to a point that I'm feeling good about. At this point, we really just need to go to file and down to bounce project or section. At which point a new dialogue will pop up and it will offer us a variety of options for exporting our project. Now, if we're exporting our project as a completed song, like we've composed and we've mixed and we're very happy with the result and we wanna post this on Spotify or Apple Music through a distributor, then you're going to use PCM, file format wave, resolution, 16 bit, sample rate 44 one. File type interleaved and dithering set to any one of these options. These are the standards for finalizing a production. However, if you're just looking to share your riff with somebody else and it's not really a completed project, in that case, I suggest using MP3. It's a much smaller, more compressed file type which is easier to send an email or over Dropbox or anything else. Now it's worth mentioning before you export your project, you want to make sure that your whole project is not exceeding zero on your stereo output meter. So if your meter turns red on the stereo output, your whole session is too loud and you need to turn down your session. So let's take a look at my session right now. So you can see there that it hit the red at 1.1. This is no good. In that case, we can adjust the level of the stereo output until it's low enough that we no longer are hitting the red. And then we can bounce our project either going to file, bounce project or section. We're using the bounce button here on the stereo output. Once again, we have the dialogue for bouncing. A safer bet though than dialing down the stereo output is just to place an adaptive limiter on the output and setting the output ceiling to something like negative one. Now you wanna make sure too that you're not hitting your project too hard on the reduction meter here. So if you're exceeding about three on the meter, your project is probably still too loud and you need to dredge down the volume across your project. In which case you could place a gain plugin right beforehand and bring down the volume until you're not exceeding three on this gain reduction meter. But other than that, exporting is pretty easy. And from there, you can compose, you can create, and you can get right down to business because Logic has everything you need. One other thing I wanna point out, as you work in Logic, as you get more comfortable with using Logic, and as your expertise starts to grow, and you're looking for deeper features in Logic, I suggest going up to Logic Pro 10, preferences, the advanced tools. Now, if you're looking to expand beyond the GarageBand look of Logic, you're going to want to show the advanced tools. As you can see, Logic has now ditched the wood panel siding. And from here, new menus and new options pop up all over your project. And they're built into different categories, audio, surround sound, MIDI, control surfaces, scoring, and even more advanced editing features. But if you're looking to just get acquainted with a smaller sandbox until you get into the bigger sandbox, then I would leave the advanced tools disabled. But as you move forward and you're watching videos and reading blog posts and you're seeing features that you're like, wow, that would be really awesome. I wanna use that and you can't find it. That's because they're probably an advanced feature that you need to enable. Much of the content on why Logic Pro Rules digs into these advanced features. So just keep that in mind as you move forward. I hope this quick start guide has been helpful for you. I really tried to hone in on just the very specific details to get you up and running quickly in Logic without digging into the more esoteric details of the program. Thanks so much again. Take care.